Mr. Yang, and you. Hm. What brings you to the seat of divine foresight this time? It's nothing urgent. We were hoping to understand Helm Master Yukong a little better. Yukong? Hmm. I heard an office worker from the Skyfaring Commission flew a star skiff to assist in the present crisis, but ran into trouble herself. She was only saved thanks to a couple of travelers. On behalf of the Law Fu, you have my thanks once again. The seat of divine foresight heard that Yu Kong seldom seen but often feared temper was on display. I believe the two of you were caught between mother and daughter. We heard that Helmmaster Yu Kong was an outstanding pilot, but that she refuses to let her daughter embark on the same career. Yu Kong herself is best placed to answer such questions. But naturally, you are here because you fear that Helmmaster Yu Kong would decline to answer. If you wish to dispel Miss Ching Ni's curiosity, perhaps we can take a small step back from the topic at hand. What do you wish to know about Yu Kong the pilot? Did Ching Ni tell you any of this? <laughs> it all serves to remind me. A long time ago, a young Foxian girl, charged by the knights with a high-speed flight violation, was brought before me as punishment. Now, she's the Madam Helmmaster, my equal. If I were to turn back the sands of time and try to convince my past self that the little girl in front of me would one day become a wise and experienced Helmmaster, I... I would have probably never have believed it. The Yukong of the past was nothing like she is now, spending her days surrounded by documents at her desk. She was a flaming wind. The only one who could ever calm her was her comrade. Yes, large fighter star skiffs need to be operated in pairs. One pilot takes the helm, the other controls the turrets. The legend of the ace fighter pilot is incomplete without the ace gunner. Yu Kong's partner was Sai. Both at the controls and behind the turret, Sai was like a cold blade, efficient, decisive unfeeling when she had to be. It's hard to imagine such contrasting personalities working in perfect harmony. As I mentioned, the campaign inflicted heavy losses on the Sienjo Air Force. Oh, this is a divine object from the Rainbow Arbiter. Where did you find this? This object has been stored inside Helmmaster Yu Kong's personal trinket all along. Miss Ching Ni lent it to us. She thought it might be a way to find out more about Yu Kong's past and why she no longer flies. This object is no ordinary trinket. It has borne witness to blood and tears. I'm sure you're both familiar with the Sienjo's long galactic hunt, but have you heard of the denizens of Abundance Wars? As the Sienjo has continued to cleanse the universe of immortal abominations, so too has the Abundance Axis succeeded in breaching our defensive lines. They pushed the Sienjo to the brink of disaster. Thirty years ago, the Xianzhou Yao Qing and Fang Hu were besieged by our enemies. 
Even in the long history of warfare between the Xianzhou Alliance and the denizens of abundance, that air battle was one of the most tragic. We were greatly outnumbered by the abominations of abundance. Almost a million fighter pilots fought in the bitter battle. Those who survived numbered no more than a hundred thousand. Had the Rainbow Arbiter not descended and destroyed the enemy's assault with their sky-shattering Lux Arrow, who's to say whether the Law Fu would still be here today? Such divine objects were forged from the embers that the Arbiter's divine arrow left behind. For the survivors, these relics contain the blood of their comrades, the ashes of their enemies, and the dust of their memories. Yu Kong is a survivor of that war. Her best friend, Tsai, perished on the battlefield. I don't have any other questions. Thank you, General. I do not wish to speculate on the reason behind Helmmaster Yukong's reluctance to fly, nor do I want to open up old wounds. However, it is difficult to discard one's past. Yukong and Tsai trusted each other with their lives. The Helmmaster will have strong memories of that time. Perhaps it is not my place to say. But I believe Ching Ni has the right to know about the past. As the past is starting to affect her future. Thank you, General. We apologize for taking up your time with such triviality. Mr. Yang, you jest. How can harmony between parent and child constitute a triviality? If you ask me, the mountains of documents and the seat of divine foresight are the only triviality around here. <laughs> we'll take our leave. Let's go. We should head to Starskiff Haven and find Ching Yi.